Hello everyone, it's Longboy RA237. I'm here again this year with a quick overview and demonstration of my Longboy model 10515 1994 Longboy. Today I'm going to do a cold start and a brief mow of this section of grass. Kind of more of a clean up. The lawn season is just about to begin. Here where I live in Pennsylvania, so there's some pine cones here. So I have the mower set up with the classic lawn boy rear bag. The grass isn't too tall, but it should help suck up some of the leaves and get it standing up again. Before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about what I did to this mower. So I teased this mower in my 100 subscribers special. And I had said, if you listen carefully, that I had completely rebuilt the engine on this mower and that is true this mower the engine had been um I did it myself I completely rebuilt the engine new piston rings new top and bottom needle bearings new top and bottom crankshaft seals and it's been all regasket re I filmed that video, but unfortunately I lost some of the footage and my video editor kind of um, collapsed and it deleted the rest of it, unfortunately. So I don't, I'm not gonna be able to put out a video of the rebuild on here unless I find a way to get back those files, which is unlikely because there was a lot of short segments and everything and that was well over a year ago that I did that now. And as you saw in that subscriber special, the mower runs absolutely great because it has the metal Walbro carburetor. One thing I have done since that video is installed the Lomboy commercial rear drive wheels and commercial front wheels. And if anyone who doesn't know, Lomboy commercial wheels are the top of the line wheels for the Lomboys. They were the ones that were put on the commercial mowers. They're steel. And the rear ones are sealed ball bearings. And the front ones are ball bearings that have a zerk that you were able to grease them with. Also, I made a video about greasing the three-speed transmission. And I don't remember if it was this mower or if it was that um, C21 ZSN commercial mower with the F engine. It also had a Wahlberg carburetor that I did a rebuild video on the carburetor. I believe it was that mower, but this is literally the same exact engine and carburetor setup. What's nice about these mowers is there's a choke. There is no primer ball, but also you never have to worry about a primer line and primer ball cracking, which is nice if you're getting a lot of use out of this mower. And also I had the mower fitted with the rear bag. I made a whole installation video about that. I'll put it right up there about the rear bag versus the side bag. And I have to say, ever since getting the rear bags, I have never once used the side bag or thought about using it because it had an advantage over the rear bag. That's how much I like the rear bag. And I use this mower to do some of my, actually almost all of my clients yards for my small lawn service so the bag gets used most of the time never had an issue you can mow tall grass with it the one thing i will say is if you're mowing tall grass in the chute plugs you can't just start the mower up and the grass will automatically unclog because the chute's so long you have to reach your arm like all the way up to your shoulder down the chute to unclog it Also, I put a new drive belt on this mower. And the engine was a total rebuild, as I said before. Here is the model number and serial number of the mower. Also, I do have an hour meter installed on this mower. 50.1 hours in less than a year. And it has been a good mower in that time period. 
That being said, everything I just covered, I love this mower. And having it for a full year have had almost no issues. But unfortunately, I am going to be selling this mower. And that is actually because, like I said before, I rebuilt the engine. But unfortunately, the engine is already leaking again. The bottom crankshaft seal is already going bad. And don't worry, it has not fallen out. I've checked it. I put gasket maker around the seal. And I know it's the bottom crankshaft seal because the pulley is starting to get oil on it. Underneath the mower and the engine, it's already getting all oily. And that is just because the lawn boys are starting to get so old, they no longer make the um, top and bottom crankshaft seals. Maybe you can get some kind of like, um, not aftermarket ones, but maybe from like a, um, a seal and bearing company, but I've never looked into that. I got mine right from Lawn Boy and they were like $10 a piece. And I think that's just because they are so old at this point, they're already dry rotted whenever they come to you. So this mower is not going to be staying with me anymore because like I said, I do mow lawns. Um, I mow about 10 lawns and they are a bigger yard. So the, the machine get used pretty heavily, especially in taller grass in the engine is not the most powerful being only a four and a four and a half horsepower and i do even have the engine um sped up about 200 rpms over the um, manufacturer specification and no that did not damage the seal by any means at all that was only i only turned it up that whenever i had to do very thick grass most of the time I use the throttle control and the handle. But without further ado, let's start up this mower and give this section of the yard a nice cut for the first time of the year. All right, let's start the mower up now. First thing I'm going to do is open the fuel valve. The fuel valve is located right down here. It just is. A quarter of a turn to open. I'm going to let the carburetor fill up with gas. This is not the first time the mower's been started this year. I have um, already mowed a lawn with it, but the carburetor's dry because I ran the gas out the last time I used it. Put the mower on full choke. Squeeze the barrel pull and give it a pull. to do some mowing with it and if you'll notice whenever I started the mower it took a few pulls to get going that's just because it's a little bit chilly out it's only about 45 degrees out but you'll notice the mower tried to stall repeatedly whenever I would take it off of choke but it would almost stall out whenever it was in choke because it was getting too much fuel but whenever I would take it off choke because the lower crankshaft seal is leaking it sucking air in and using um more fuel i wish i could have showed you guys this mower whenever it was in tip-top condition and always started on the first pool but that's um fortunately my fault because of how busy i got last year but let's mow this section of the yard here
fuel valve is off. God, this mower still mows good. Wow, it even looks better on the camera than it does in person. I don't think we cut off a whole lot, but we'll get the grass stimulated to start growing more quickly now. So there you go, the 1974, I mean 1994, Lawn Boy 10515, Lawn Boy Gold Series, two cycle, commercial grade, five horsepower, you can kind of see it on the camera, it's pretty faded. I am going to be sad to see this mower go. You cannot beat the three-speed transmission. But I'm going to be keeping my Duraforce mower in my white 1974 Lawn Boy. And the other one you saw in my 100 subscriber special, I forget what model that is. I'm going to be selling that one off as well too because of storage issues and it's having some ignition problems now and the coils for those are quite expensive so that one's going to be sold for parts of repair. This mower I don't think I'm going to be able to get a whole lot of money for because of the crankshaft seal leak. I'm going to show you down here the engine, also the carburetor is leaking quite badly too. Let me go over here. It might be kind of hard to see on the video now that you can see it. You can see how wet and shiny it is. It looks like it might even be getting worse. The pulley is starting to fling oil out onto the deck. And I'm afraid that the belt's going to start getting oil on it and the drive's going to start to be slipping as well. Quite a shame. I could still get quality parts that weren't so old anymore. I'll definitely try to keep this mower in particular going. But because of some other things with it, like the deck itself with the height adjusters is becoming quite worn out in the rear axle for the transmission is also quite worn out. I don't think it was properly greased before I got this mower. Those are the only reasons why I'm going to be selling it and upgrading it to something that will suit me better for my lawn service. But let's see how much grass we got. I don't think it will be a whole lot. Let's take a look. Move the ear mufflers. No, barely anything. There's a little bit in there. There's a little bit more. It's mostly crap that the mower sucked up off the ground because this mower does have extremely good suction. But the new mower I'm going to be replacing it with is also a great bagging mower. So I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. I'm glad I was able to show you my 1994 Lawn Boy 10515 before I sell it. Unfortunately, it's not in fully operating condition because of the lower crank seal is already leaking so bad. Don't worry though, I will still be making Lawn Boy videos on my channel, just with not this particular mower. And who knows, if I find a great deal on a Lawn Boy in Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, you can guarantee that I'll be picking that up and making an awesome video on it. So this is the last video most likely you'll see of this mower. I'll be sad to see it go, but because of factors that are outside of my control with it being repaired, I'm going to have to let it go. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day, and I hope to see you soon again with the next Lawn Boy Repair video.